Welcome back to Starbridge, where we're on the hunt for a new home for Lucy and Graham. And I reckon we're doing pretty well. Do you indeed? We're learning that location is really important to them. So now we're taking them to Kinver, the must-have address on the outskirts of Starbridge. This 18th century cottage is the oldest in our search, on the market at £118,950. It's the first house that we've been into this weekend where it is open plan, mm. certainly the living yeah. part of it. That was something we've learned. You quite like things that mm. were this way arranged. This cottage has the character they're after. Two bedrooms and a dinky upstairs bathroom. Come through and have a look at the kitchen, because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Now, it's big. It's big enough it's to an, eat in. It's a, it's a lovely big kitchen. It yeah. is, isn't it? So that would have been the door from the garden into the main body of the house. This is called the side return that they've extended into. So the external wall would have run down here and they put a reinforced steel joist up there to support it. And I'm sure it's been inspected and got all the, the relevant bits of paper to support it, but we would want to see that. So thumbs up for the kitchen? The kitchen's very much thumbs up, a yeah. hugely brilliant size compared to all the others. It's great. Often a single storey extension, as in this case, will have a flat roof. Do always keep a very careful eye on flat roofs because they're particularly vulnerable to the elements. Here it's made much worse because the downpipe in front of me and behind me delivering their water straight onto the flat roof. Not a good look, that's more of a lawn we're getting down there. It's a bit of a shame because a few hundred pounds would put it right. Move the downpipe, refelt the roof. You can't really fault it on the way it's been um, decorated and done up. But it is, it is little. Also, as the main road going through Kinver as well, so yeah. it looks as though it's going to be quite busy. Mm -hmm. And probably yeah. some implications as far as parking goes. It's, it's a great area, it's got great schools. But I don't know if that's enough to make us want this house. OK, not sure then. For our final property, we've decided to stay in gorgeous Kinver and solve their parking problem, all within budget. This is a modern semi-detached house on a large corner plot. The asking price is 94,950. What's that space for? I've never seen that expression before. It's just the laminate. Oh no. <laughs> I've got laminate at home. In fact, it's almost identical to this one. <laughs> I'm a terrible moo, but I, I really can't bear laminate. Well, before you offend every laminate floor homeowner in the country, let's go and have a look at the kitchen. Graham, we'll head upstairs, but what do you reckon about the size of the room? I think it's a good size of room. Nice and bright and spacious. Yeah. I actually think the floor's all right, to be honest, personally, so... The kitchen, how does it strike you? It's, it's lovely and big. It's a really nice size kitchen. The cooker is rather strange because it's completely freestanding and my immediate feeling is that it needs to have something on either side. It will be very mm. difficult to cook in this sort of isolated mm -hmm. fashion. Doesn't seem to be anything majorly wrong with it. No, it's, it's a very honest house, this. Yeah. It's got nothing to hide. No. You get what you see. Both these bedrooms are a good size, Graham. Yep. There is the opportunity for a loft extension mm -hmm. here. And we thought the best place for, for the staircase was up there, which would still leave enough room in this. It's yeah. still a double bedroom. Doesn't take too much off it, really, does it? No. I know you don't like the laminate floor. And I know that when you walked in here, you looked less sure than Graham did. What do you think he's saying to Phil right now? I think he's saying he really likes it. I think he's saying that he loves it. I think it's all right, actually, yeah. I quite like it. Lucy? Um, I suspect it's probably not for her. This house is ex-local authority. Sometimes there's a stigma attached to these properties, which is very short-sighted. The build quality is often much better than other houses, and because of the stigma, they represent very good value for money. In this area, most of the houses are privately owned on their second or third owners. But look into them, they make great bargains. I think the whole house, yeah, it's good size of rooms throughout. Good use of space, yeah. Lucy? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> she looks really nervous. <laughs> you, what, you look like you think Graham's going to blow up in your face or something. Well, Graham loves the house, but Lucy's not sure, so we leave them to sleep on it.
Well, this morning I'm wondering if there were any favourites. Yeah, there's one definite favourite top of the list for both of us. <clears throat> That's the second house we looked at in Western Road in Stourbridge. The one with the hallway. The one with the hallway, yeah. yeah. We'd quite like to go back to see the modern house in Kimver. Right. I don't feel that I personally gave it a fair viewing and it would be lovely to see it in the light of day. Well, we better sort all this out. It's enough Absolutely. breakfast for you lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, first up, we're back at Western Road, your first choice. The house with the hallway. While we're outside, let's have a little think about the parking. What do you make of that today? Seems to be loads of space. I don't think there's any shortage. Oh, straight into a hall, <laughs> not into a lounge. Fantastic. Brilliant. It's such a warm room, this, isn't it? Very welcoming, yeah. I could have babies here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good sign then. We better check out the bedrooms. They wanted to make one into a bathroom. We've had a plumber in here this morning to give us a quote on putting the bathroom. Okay. He doesn't. He didn't quote for the building work, but his right. quote was two thousand one hundred pounds, and that includes all the parts and the labour. That's not so bad. Not so bad. No. There's also potential here in the cellar, which could be converted into living space. Now, Graham, as you come down, you can smell the damp, but I don't think that's worrying. It's definitely got lots of potential and a good height as well. Mm. Most of the ones we've been in, we've had to really crouch in yeah. them. So. Now, we've looked into different systems, and the one that we think would be most suitable for this is a cavity membrane system, which essentially has a pump which draws the water away to keep the room dry. Now, the cost of making this room entirely usable, that's walls, plastered, painted, electric, proper floor, would be £7,000. Right. But in the long term, I can't think but that it would add value. I think we've seen it all top to bottom now for the second time. And we love it. And we want to put an offer in. We definitely think it's the one for us. Yeah, that's really good yeah. news. Excellent news, excellent news. How much would you like to offer? We'll offer the asking price. We're willing to go up to the asking price, but mm -hmm. we'd like to offer a bit lower if possible. Yeah. We feel that £100,000 is the right starting point okay. and we'll gauge a reaction from that. And will you do that for us? I'd be very happy to, yes. That'd be great. OK, we'll yeah. pass the buck over to you yeah. see what you can do for us. <laughs> Ever spent hundred grand before? Not Never. yet. No sense wasting time. Let's get the offer in straight away. Afternoon, Vera. This is Phil Spencer speaking. Hello there. Hello. I'm very pleased to say that um, our purchasers do want to make an offer on the property. They're very, very keen on it. Brilliant. That's great. Uh, I should point out that they are first-time buyers. Do you want me to cancel the appointment to see the other house? No. No, we want to keep it at this stage. We want to try and keep our options open at the moment, so it's worth having another look. Yeah, no, definitely. The offer they like to make is £100,000, and they've reached that decision due to the fact of their, their ability and keenness to do the deal. Right. Um, put that off. I will put that offer forward to our clients. Great, the ball's rolling. OK. So it's back to the modern house in Kimber to see if second time round Lucy will like it as much as Graham does. It leads us through and it's really an excellent garden. It's a nice size, but it does feel very overlooked by those houses higher up there. It doesn't seem as private as elsewhere. Mm. While our couple are having a hard look at this house, Phil gets a call from the estate agent about Western Road. But I think more than that, the value of the house really becomes questionable. So what do you think? I don't know. I think I'm a bit sad it doesn't have that wow factor for me. It doesn't matter what sort of a price we agree today, it's still got to come up to value in the survey. Things aren't looking good for Western Road. Know it's, it is very much a blank canvas in some ways. There is a lot we could do with it. Mm. Oh no, are we going to lose both properties here? I'm afraid that's going to be their final bid. I can't see that there'll be any more in the pot today at all. But um, It just doesn't do it for I you. It just doesn't, no. I'm sorry. I'm afraid it's not going particularly well. 100,000 was turned down, and after a long discussion about the whys and wherefores of it, I put in an offer of 102,000. And I've just had a call back saying that the owner is categorical about he wants his asking okay. price of 105. Right. So if you want the house today, I'm afraid you will have to pay the full asking 105. If you're prepared to take a risk of losing the house, and this would be my preferred option, is that we go back to the agent and say 102 was the final bid. 
We then take a couple of days and let the owners think about it. It's over to you. It's a tough one, isn't it? I really want that house. So do I, to be honest. I don't want anyone else to just go in and get it. I want it. Yeah, I'd be really sick as a dog if someone sneaked I'll in ahead of us. I'll kick myself if someone else got it. So you're absolutely sure, you completely understand the decision that you're taking? Fine, 105 it is. I will go and call the agents and I'll come straight back to you. Yeah? Okay, Thank sure. you. Yeah. Definitely. We're in big trouble if they don't take 105. <laughs> Excellent, thanks very much. Well, team, the house is off the market and it's yours. Excellent, yes. fantastic. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well Thanks done. Cheers. Western Road is yours. Wonderful. Here it's we a go. great house. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. I think you'll be very happy there. You can make lots of babies in whatever <laughs> room you feel like making babies. Oh, no, the pressure. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Bye. Good luck. Good house. Thank you. Bye.